Generation equality stands against rape. In the name of our we shall conquer. It is not a crime to be a woman, and certainly not a disadvantage. As such, rape and other forms of violence against women should not be condoned. This is the submission of women and girl child advocates who converged today at the United Nations Information Center to mark this year's International Day for the Elimination of Violence Against Women. The event kickstarts the 16 day activism against gender inequality with a motive to end all forms of violence against women and girls by 2030, that is 11 years from now. In the last two weeks, we had seven people that we've arrested. The case of incest is on the high side. As we speak, we have about four where the girls have been constantly defiled by their fathers and the man will threaten them not to tell anybody and he will quote, I don't know, he quote out of context the Bible portion that if you see the nakedness of your father, you are not supposed to tell anybody. Can you imagine that? So what we've done here, don't tell anybody. We must speak up. Some people will be stigmatized. Some will be pulled down. But the ability to stand firm and speak up, we serve as deterrent for others. The judicial process must always take its course. We want to encourage the judiciary that the rule of law must prevail at all times. Generational inequality, stand against rape, is a theme for this year's event. This year the focus is on rape. Rape is that action that dehumanizes a person, dehumanizes, leaves scars that can never heal. It is in our interest to stop this menace of rape in our society. We know that this is ingrained also in power relations. As our Secretary General says usually, that uh, if we get gender equality in all areas of our lives, we shall reduce on violence against women. While the advocacy assumes another dimension tomorrow, there are hopes that these 16 days of activism will strengthen the legislations against rape increase awareness and perhaps curb the menace of rape in the country. Mary Chinda for Plus TV Africa.